Hi everyone, this is Sandy Crank the Heart, and I'm back with a dies and more share. Um, kind of, because I already did um, a haul yesterday, and I did want to show you guys what these items look like cut out. And it gives me an opportunity because I do have a box of um, dies and stamps, and I am going to be destashing. Not a ton of stamps, but quite a bit of, of dies. And so I want to know whether these are dies that I think I'm going to use. And if I'm not going to use them and my reasons make sense to me, then I'm going to go ahead and destash it. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I, I'm not doing all the ones I did yesterday. Uh, today, I'm going to, I just got tired of cutting, to be honest, because I've been doing a lot of other things today. So I did about half of them and I'll do the other half um, probably the next day. All right, so this, I got a bunch of Echo Park. So just for those of you who didn't watch my video, I did a haul of scrapbooking made easy. And I did talk about how I probably wouldn't order this type of um, stuff from them again. It's their shop that did not hop, which they do in July. And they do tell you up front, but you don't get your dies for like six months. And the thing about it is you've got this or more, but you've got this like kind of frantic idea. These are on sale and you buy them and then you get them and it's been so long. And then you realize that you either bought them already or you don't like them or why did you buy it? Um, so anyway, it's a little buyer's remorse, I think. But some of the dies that I got that I cut, I really like. So one of them is this, a lot of the Echo Park, most Echo Park that I got, I really like. And these are all really good price. Because um, I think these are normally like $20 or $25. Um, and I think I paid like 5 Okay, so first of all, they come in a giant package. And the dies are like not that big. And I didn't put them away because I did want you guys to see sort of what the dies themselves um, look like. So it's like two pieces to the sun, bathing suit, the summer fun, this little fish. Okay, so as far as the cutting, so we've got our sun, which I like and it cuts very easily. We have our bathing suit, which also cuts very easily. And our wave and our summer, and our fun. They all cut really nicely. And then here's our little fish. Now, this little piece right here cuts your bathing suit belt, and then it cuts a white and a black eyeball for your fish. Now, the white eyeball is not too bad of a size. It's super small, but it's you could pick it up. The black eyeball is like a dot. It's like a dot. So I don't even bother with that dot. I just uh, draw my own little black with my, you know, with my pen. You also can use, I think there's a micro, I have a micron pen somewhere on here, um, with a pen. Okay, so, but I like this. I think it cuts really well. Um, I think that it's got the things I like, which is words that are all together linked as one and not separate. Um, this cuts really nicely. So there, and there are pieces that you could use not just in summer. So I like that die and I'm going to keep it. So moving on to this next one, giant packaging. I don't know what's up with that. So these are word dies, which I love. Um, sweet, which I could have used that earlier this week because I was looking for a sweet dye. I did find one in an odd spot, but um, I do like that. Sparkle, which is nice. My daughter's dance team is um, the Sparkle Stars, so that's cool. Um, princess and Cutie and Girl, okay? So those are the dyes. Now, I cut these all out of glitter paper because that's what I had laying around, like scraps. I had scraps of it hanging out of the, I don't even know if I have it with me, but like this. Right? And you got all the little scraps that are hanging out of it. So I went and found the scraps that were the smallest yet big enough to cut these so I could use up some scraps. So um, they cut really nicely. 
um, even with this paper, which I had been struggling with some other dies that I had, some of my, I forget which ones, um, AliExpress maybe, oops, I might get my face in here because I gotta lay down and get this. Um, they didn't, they struggled to cut this paper and, um, but the Echo Park cuts really nicely and these are word dies. Okay, get that little thing. Okay, so the S cut separately from the suite. So that doesn't bother me because the rest of the words are together and the S is big. So that doesn't, that doesn't bother me at all. So I'm good with that. So there's what sweet looks like. Um, here is sparkle, same thing. The S cuts um, separately from the rest of the word, which is fine because the rest of the word, which has the more intricate pieces are all together. Um, and the S is pretty big, so that's not a deal breaker for me. And then um, same thing with princess. So we have the P and then the rest of the word together. So that's fine. And then um, one of these little tiny dots belongs to the princess. Maybe it's this one. So it does have a tiny little dot for the eye. Um, I mean, if I don't lose that little piece, then I will use it. If somehow in the transfer from my cuddle bug to my work space, I lose that little dot, then I usually use a gem. I don't stress about the little tiny dot for the eye. Um, and then here is cutie, which is all one word. And I like that. So these cut really nicely. They're a nice size. Um, and they do meet my requirements for having the letters be connected because I hate that. Um, okay, moving on. So the next thing I want to show you is this die. It's pretty ginormous. Now, I think I'm probably going to distash this, not because I don't totally like the die. It's just that I have something very similar already. I have the French bow, I think. The Brenda Walton, I think it's called French bow or the French bow or something like that. I, that's a similar size. Um, it's a similar die. I feel like I don't need two dies that are giant like this one because I'm not going to get a ton of use out of it. Um, and I find that the dies that have these little flags are awkward for me. Like I never know like how they're supposed to go. And so if I put the first one on kind of crooked or weird, then the other one doesn't go on very well. And so you'll see that in my sample um, because I was using my hot glue gun. So once I stuck this one on there, I was like stuck and, and it's just kind of cockeyed. But this is what it looks like. Like I said, I already have a large die that I, that I does almost exactly the same thing. So because of that, I'll probably de-stash this particular die. And this is a $20 die. It's a very expensive die. Okay, so moving on to another Echo Park um, die. I think the other thing was I'm not ready for summer, so I didn't do any actual cards with this stuff because I don't have any of my summer stuff out. All of my winter stuff is still, and Valentine's is out, and, and I'm working on a mini album right now. Um, so I just was not in the mood to, to pull out summer stuff. So I apologize if you guys want to actually see projects but I did want to show you what things look like and what the dies look like. So you can get an idea of, of size and like how many pieces there are because that can determine whether you're interested in getting a die set or not. Lots of bazillion pieces. You, you may not like that. Some people love it, but I'm not one of them. But here's the dolphin, um, a seahorse, a different fish, and then... These pieces go with your fish, which I like. Um, it's a nice size, so it's not super small. And then these pieces go with your seahorse. Okay, so I'm going to say this about the seahorse. Um, it cuts really small, the eye, the black part of the eye, and I somehow lost the little white piece, so I didn't even put that on there. So all I did for that one is I just made a dot for his eye for the seahorse the um fish i did 
not lose a little white piece for the eye. So I did use that, but I did draw in the little black piece for the eye. Otherwise, it would just be so super tiny. Okay, so there's that. And then here's the dolphin. Now, you have options on what you want to do with the eye. Um, you could, it looked like it cut, I don't know if it cut an eye. I don't know. But anyway, I just put a little piece of black in the back to make an eye. So that's pretty easy. This cuts so nicely. So that's kind of cute. All right. So this is one that I'm probably going to de-stash. I'll just say it up front. And not because anything's wrong with the dye. It's just that I have snowflake dyes that are like this size plus punches that are similar in size. So I feel like it's a redundant dye for me. And that's all. So I just did a little tag. Um, I did this one first when I was feeling more like inspired to do some stuff and I had a scrap. So I did do a, a tag. And so just give you an idea of what it would look like. So when it cuts, it cuts in um, two pieces. So, you know, you have some flexibility with what you want to do with these pieces. Um, I chose to just keep them together, which I probably would in most cases keep them together. I, I don't know. But anyway, I just have a lot of dies that are the same size and do the same thing. I would be interested in a larger snowflake die, I think, because I don't have one of those. So, all right, so this is the last one for this video, and this is the Memory Box Snowflake Scroll Work Sleeve. So this is a die that I'm gonna actually keep to try out to see if it's something that's gonna work for me. Because my concern is that if I use the die the way that it's sort of intended as like a um, pocket, I guess, um, or a sleeve, that it this part is so intricate that I might tear and rip and get caught. So I'd have to test it out in a project to see how it would work. And so it does cut very nicely. I know it looks very intricate, but these pe most of these pieces are... Um, bigger pieces that pop out and they pop out very easily. The only parts that you might need, like um, a tool of some kind, some kind of thing to poke it out, would be this little snowflake piece right here and then this little dot right here, but they pop out really easily. So, I mean, as far as cutting, it cuts really well. So here it is, this is just bent. Um, you would need an eighth of an inch um, tape for this. I'm thinking, but it cuts very nicely. The size of this die is five and a half. So fit across a card by two and a quarter. So it's a nice size die. It's not a bad die. Um, it's definitely one that I want to try. This die in particular is super expensive. These types of dies are like 15 to $20. So I mean, I'm going to keep it. I mean, even at Alley, they're, I mean, they're like three or four dollars, which I guess is not that much, but you have to wait months. But anyway, that is my dye haul slash share from Scrapbook Made Simple. If you did not watch my video, you might want to watch it because I do talk about that company and um, what I got all together, how much it cost, and how long I had to wait to get it so you can get an idea. I do have, what do I have? I have quite a bit still. Let me see what I have. I have this left to share. And I, oh, I have another, I forgot to do this Echo Park. I just didn't feel like doing, doing it. I was tired and this is a 14 minute video. So I will cut the rest of them. I will share my opinion on them and whether I'm keeping them or not, especially if you're interested in a D-stash, then you'll know kind of what I'm going to have. Anyway, thank you for watching. This is Cindy Crank the Heart.